friends. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday morning. It is about 6.20 a.m. and I just pulled into my WW workshop. So I wanted to hop on here and share a little bit about my week with you, see how your guys' week went, and then I'll be going in for my workshop and my weigh-in. So first of all, how did my week go? So overall, my week went pretty darn good. I was able to get three days of exercise. I walked Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and Thursday morning. Now, I did not walk Wednesday morning because I woke up in the middle of the night on Wednesday and my stomach was killing me. And I don't know if it was something that I ate during the day or what, but like incredibly killing me that I couldn't go back to sleep for about an hour and a half. So when my alarm went off at five o'clock, not only was I exhausted because I was up for one and a half to two hours, but also my stomach still felt a little bit weird, a little wonky. It was kind of a sharp pain in like my lower abdomen. So I decided that I didn't want to go on a walk because I didn't want to risk going outside, getting way down the road and not feeling well. So I did end up skipping my walk on Wednesday, but I did still get three days in. I hit over 10,000 steps every day on my Fitbit, except for Wednesday, the day that I didn't go on my walk. So I'm thrilled with that. I'm really loving my walks, you guys. I didn't know how much I would actually truly enjoy them. And I honestly love them. So I'm going to continue doing them. And if all goes well this next week, I can get in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We are going to be working in our yard on Saturday. So I should be getting a ton of activity in on Saturday from working in our yard. And then Sunday's always really busy for me between meal prep and cleaning my house. I always get quite a bit of activity in that day as well. So it's shaping up to be a very active next week. Also today I am going to the ear, nose, and throat doctor about my voice. It's actually a lot better, but it's still kind of trails in and out here and there. And it's still pretty hoarse like now, first thing in the morning before I drink anything. So I'm still going to go to my appointment. It's at 9 a.m. today or 9.15, something like that. And at least see what they have to say about my voice. So it could be really, truly nothing, but better safe than sorry on that. So I know a lot of you have been asking and have been concerned. So thank you. And how did my week go for eating? So overall, my week was pretty good. I did actually eat a fun size Snickers and a fun size bag of chocolate M&Ms yesterday, but I tracked them. By the way, you guys, those are four points a piece. That is insane for a little teeny Snickers bar is four points. So I ended up going over my points yesterday by seven. So that's okay because I did go on a walk and earn some activity points. So I feel like overall it was essentially a wash. So I don't know that that will impact my scale reading when I hop on today. And then as far as the rest of the week, it was pretty good. There were a couple little moments of struggle, little moments on the struggle bus, but overall my week was, was pretty good. So I'm hoping for another loss on the scale today when I step on. Um, this is the last weighing of May and once again I'm not hitting my 25 pounds so I'm wondering I don't know they think my voice potentially could be my thyroid I don't think that it is but that may be a test that I'll get down the road if I still see myself continuously struggling struggling with you know losing weight so we'll see I do have a little something something up my sleeve that I'm going to be doing mid-June I'll be sharing that on my Facebook group so if you're not part of my Facebook group I'm going to put that right here on the screen. Make sure that you join so you can kind of hear about what I'm going to do mid-June just to see how it works and see if it really escalates my weight loss. So anyways, that's my week. I'm going to go into my workshop and I'll be back to share not only a recap of what we talked about, but my way in. Hey guys, I just got out of my WW workshop and I'm just getting to work. So I wanted to hop on really quick and kind of go over what we talked about as far as the topic. It was a really good one. So as you know, I have started my own exercise routine and I have been walking at least four days a week at 5 a.m. Crazy as that sounds, I've been up walking at 5 a.m. So today's topic was about strength and strength training and building strength. So as far as strength training goes, we talked a lot about the benefits of strength training. 
things. So in addition to aerobic exercise, it's really important to do some strength training. This doesn't mean pumping iron or going to the gym every day, lifting weights, trying to build a lot of muscle, become a bodybuilder. We're talking about just strengthening, especially your core, but also just strengthening your muscles to not only burn additional fat, but to tone everything up throughout your weight loss journey. So if you're someone that needs to lose a lot of weight in order to not have flappies, flabby skin, excess skin, I mean, you're still gonna have excess skin, but to avoid having a lot of extra flab and jiggle jiggle, it is important to incorporate some strength training. So there's just some really easy things that you can do. Things as simple as push-ups on the counter, using your own body weight to move around, lift your leg, do leg lifts, twist side to side, fill up some bottles with water and use those as weights. You don't have to go spend a lot of money on fancy weights. You don't even have to join a gym. Just use what you have around the house. There is so many chair type of strength activities. There's plank challenges, crunch challenges, push-up challenges, all sorts of things on the wide world of the internet that will give you tips and tricks on how to get strong stronger, how to build your strength. And not only does it help with loose skin, flabby skin, it really helps burn calories. You burn more calories with muscle than you do with aerobic exercise. So it's not only important just to incorporate activity, cardio, aerobics, it's also really important to add some strength training because that's what's going to tone you up that's what's going to build muscle. And then even when you're not exercising, you're still going to burn calories. Now, if you are strictly a cardio person or an aerobic exercise person, that's awesome. It's better than nothing. But as soon as you stop that aerobic exercise or stop that cardio, within a matter of a half of an hour, one hour, your body stops burning calories. The fat loss stops. But if you do strength training, you can essentially burn calories all day long because muscle burns calorie a lot longer than cardio or aerobic exercise. So not only is it important to do the aerobic side, it is extremely, extremely important to incorporate some strength training. Again, it can be something as simple as your own body weight. You can use weights. If you have them, you can fill up water bottles. You can re use resistance bands. There are so many things that you can do to help incorporate strength training into your workouts. So let's talk a little bit about some of the myths when it comes to strength training. So one myth is aerobic activity or cardio is the best for calorie burning. No, it is best again to pair your cardio or your aerobic activity with strength training, not only to be burning a boatload of calories during your aerobic activity, but to continue to burn those calories throughout the day or hours and hours after you finish your activity by incorporating some strength training into your workout as well. Remember, muscle burns calories a lot longer than just an aerobic or a cardio workout will. The next myth is I have to join a gym or buy a bunch of exercise exercise equipment. No. Again, you can use your own body weight. Things that you can do to incorporate strength training using your own body weight are planking, sit-ups, push-ups, leg lifts, side twists. I mean, anything that uses your actual body weight that helps build your core muscles or helps incorporate any type of strength building. You can also use water bottles. Like I said, fill them with water, toss them in the freezer, freeze them up to even give yourself a little extra weight. Don't forget to leave a little bit of room at the top of your water bottle if you do decide to freeze them because as they freeze, they will expand. So make sure that you leave a little bit of extra room. And again, resistance bands. They're so economical. You can buy an entire pack of resistance bands on Amazon for about $15. So not a huge investment. You don't have to buy special machines or even fancy hand weights or join a gym to get the benefits of incorporating some strength training. And the last myth is incorporating strength training will make me look like the Hulk. No, you guys, it will not. Unless you are lifting excessively heavy weights all of the time, you won't be building enough muscle to look like the Hulk. Instead, you will be toning up. You'll be strengthening your body. You'll get a little bit of muscle definition, but in a sexy way. You're not going to be looking like the Hulk. So that means using lighter weights for more reps and skipping the really, really, really heavy weights for really low reps. That's how you build excessive muscle. That's how you look like the Hulk. Now, let me tell you, my friend, if you are interested in looking like the Hulk, then lift those heavy weights with small reps. If you're not, just incorporate some really light weights at 
high reps and you're going to strengthen your body and get that sexy look of muscle versus that Hulk look of muscle. So WW challenges you this week to incorporate a new strength training activity into your workout. Now, you know I walk four days a week, so I may take some filled water bottles with me for some extra weights as I'm walking, or I may try some of these using your own body weight. So some planking, some sit-ups, some push-ups. Also, if you didn't know, there is the app and I'll put how you spell that here on the screen. It is directly in your WW app and it is a workout app that is free to you as being a WW member. And there are so many workouts in there. I mean, we're talking 15 minute workouts and you can search just for strength training. So if you need some ideas, some tips, some tricks, the Aptive app incorporated in your WW app is fantastic. You can also look on the internet, YouTube. You can search programs such as Daily Burn or some of those other exercises type of internet programs that can help you incorporate some strength training. So don't think that just because you're doing cardio, you're good to go. Or don't think that by incorporating strength training, you're going to look like those muscle bodybuilders because you won't. It will only help tone you up, make you look leaner, your clothes will fit better, and your overall health will be dramatically better by incorporating a little bit of strength training. So let's talk about my weigh-in. So like I mentioned, I had overall a pretty good week. I had a couple of little slip-ups here and there. Of course, I use my all of my weeklies on Saturday. So those slip ups, you know, they're slip ups because I don't have any extra points to use. But I did walk my three days a week, which I'm so thrilled with. I'm definitely going to continue doing that no matter what. But when I hopped on the scale today, I lost 0.4. I'll take it. Is it what I wanted to lose? No, which that also means that I am up a little over a pound overall for the month of May. So was May a good month for me? No, but it's my own doing. It's definitely not some anomaly that I'm up a little bit over a pound overall for the month of May. But luckily, it's not very much. And to be honest, before WW, I could gain five to 10 pounds in a month. So the fact that I'm up a little bit overall does it suck? Of course, but I'll just get back on the horse and June will be a better month for me. So I'm excited to announce that I did lose 0.4. I'll take it. And I want to know how was your guys this week? What did you do that you thought was successful? What did you do that you think you could do better this upcoming week? And I am going to be sharing a really exciting challenge with you guys on my Facebook group. So again, it's right there on the screen. Make sure you join my Facebook group because I'm going to be announcing the challenge there. I'm going to vlog the entire week of the challenge and upload a video here on YouTube after and let you know how my week went on this particular challenge. So it's going to be kind of a test. It's going to be a test market of this program or this challenge to see how it works. So make sure you join my Facebook group. I want to hear down in the comments how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Were you happy with what you saw on the scale? And what do you guys think about incorporating strength training into your workout if you haven't already? If you're new, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up. Of course, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Have a fantastic Friday. Bye.